My lungs are burning so bad right now. And I keep leaving so I can spit out the stuff that's coming up from my lungs. It's really attractive. Oh my God. Guys. That was no joke. So that was um, the Body Rock Day 2 challenge. Um, it's called the Elevate Challenge. I put a link for it down below so you can follow along with me if you want. It's, it's intense. I didn't think that I'd be able to just jump in and do a Body Rock Challenge the way they have it. So I've had to do some modifications because whoa so <clears throat> if you go to the each page of this challenge is a 30-day challenge and it gives you it's a high interval high intensity interval training type challenge so the first day that I did you saw two days ago I did um, day one which was you know cardio plus uh, strength training stuff push-ups and things like that and my muscles were so sore yesterday <laughs> Um, and also I felt really sick in the morning from the Thai food, so I had to, I just didn't exercise yesterday because I wasn't feeling well, and then you know I never end up exercising at night if I, if I leave it till the evening, so I got back to it today. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this, um, every day in a row, if I'll be able to handle that or not, I'm going to try, but if not, um, <clears throat> I'm going to just do maybe every other day or something. So if you guys want to do it as well, it's a great thing for exercise. And what I love about it the most is that when you, when you do it, oh my gosh, you get your exercise done in like 20 minutes and you're done for the day and you've done a bunch of good cardio and stuff. I need to do my plank in a second here. I'll do that, but I needed to sort of rest for a second. So feel free to follow along. You don't need that much time to do it. And here, I'm gonna show you how I do this. So, on my computer here, I have a couple tabs open. I have the Body Rock Challenge open. So, the free challenges have a little teaser video. So, it'll show you how to do the moves. <clears throat> so, that's how I know how to do the moves. And I'm not doing them perfectly, but I'm doing them, you know, to what I can. It'll show you all four moves and how they're done. There's the burpees. And that's it, they just give you a teaser. Then it shows you down here some pictures of the moves and it'll show you what the actual <clears throat> workout is. So it's 50 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. <clears throat> and then you do that three times through. So you set 50 seconds and do the river dance for 15 seconds and then rest for 10 seconds. Do the knee and left for 15 seconds and then rest for 10. Knee and right and then whatever. But what I've been doing, because I can't do it that much, is I do this 15 seconds instead of rest. And then, like for the river dance, I modified that one a tiny bit because I couldn't do it. So then it'll give you some pictures down here of the action <clears throat> and how to do the actual workouts. This is the knee and left one. And you know, I didn't have my knee out as far and I didn't lean over as far as she did. Um, <clears throat> And the burpees I did pretty much the way she did, except I didn't do push-ups like this. I did regular push-ups because she's doing like the tricep push-ups or whatever. Um, I just did regular push-ups. So then I also have open this interval timer that I use. This is free online. So what I've been doing is I set it <clears throat> here. Let me show you how this how this works here. So I set it to go uh, create an online timer. I want to do a hit timer and then I go all right how many sets do I want I'm doing three you know three sets of each thing and then for the high intensity I do 50 seconds that's what the website says and this one I set for 15 because I can't do 10 it's too fast and then there's no warm-up for me I just get right into it and then I do oops and then I set the um, dang it come on scroll and then I set this to be 
60 seconds. So in between each interval, you get 60 seconds. And here's what it looks like then. So it shows you a visual rep representation. So you have 50 seconds, 15, 50 seconds, 15, 50 seconds, and then you have a minute rest. And then you have to start it all over manually. So for me, like I've been making the mistake of as I'm going, like on the last set there, when it's done, it turns black like this, then you have to hit reset. So it'll reset it again and then you hit play. So it goes, but I forgot to hit reset and I thought it was going and I was like, oh crap, I have to reset it. Um, and then I also have opened up here, YouTube has a lot of really great, great playlists for music. And this one is like an hour and a half, or this one's like an hour long. So you have enough music to get you through for motivation. There's lots of different ones. Like I picked one for running, but they have like workout ones for dudes in the gym that are trying to get buff and you know, just different types of playlists. So that's cool to use. So that was my workout for today. Um, I probably am going to get lazy one of these days and just go for a walk instead or something, but I'm gonna try to do this for all 30 days if I can. Follow along with me if you like. Um, and if you wanna just do the plank with me, by the way, um, I'm gonna put a link for that down below as well. I've shared that with you before about what the challenge was that I did when I did the plank challenge. It's a five minute plank challenge. Now I just do three minutes for maintenance. But you start at 20 seconds plank and you work up to five minutes within 30 days. If that's a little bit above your level, you can feel free to change the numbers so that maybe you start out at five seconds and you end up at two minutes or something like that. You could, um, you could easily do that. And if you want to do that with me, I'm trying to do that every day, my three minute one. So if you want to try to work up to a plank, you can do that too. So just some ideas of some easy ways that you can work out at home that you don't have to go anywhere. You don't need any equipment whatsoever. Like I'm just using a towel on the floor when I do my push-ups. And... Time to do my plank. Wait, was there an idea that, did you know that you wanted to be an author? No, 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 no idea. I mean, I, I graduated really young, which is a whole other story because I took as many credits as I possibly could and I registered at another college. Okay, I made my regular um, carob peanut butter smoothie today, and it's amazing, and that's all I have to say. I think we may be going out to dinner tonight, um, so I'm having a little snack while I wait. This is just some chickpeas and my magic spice mixture that I was having a lot a couple months ago, and the roasted mushrooms that I had from earlier, and this magic spice mixture. I like to just put it on any kind of beans. If I just need a snack or whatever, I just put it right on the beans. It's just equal parts of these three different spices and I'm gonna put links for the spices down below this video so you can check it out if you like. But it makes a, just a cup of plain beans taste ridiculously good. <laughs> so I'm gonna have this for right now while I wait. We're getting carry out today. Yum. He has acquired the goods. <laughs> okay, so we always get the Tory Washington salad from Veggie Nation. Then we get the tamales as well, and this is what the Tory Washington looks like, and it's amazing. And the tamales, minus the cilantro. Blech. <laughs> all right, it's all for me. <laughs> you can have as much as you want. <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. Hey guys, so breaking up is hard to do. That's the subject of our little nutritarian nugget today. We talk about people around us. I get this all the time with friends who say things like, well, I know you really like vegetables or I know you eat a lot of really healthy stuff, but I could never be a vegan or I could never be a vegetarian or whatever it is. And I'm always just like, I just want to shake them. Like, it's not about putting a label on yourself. It's not about anything. It's about eating more vegetables. It's, you know, eating less of the other stuff, more of the good stuff. Um, a lot of common things that people say, and maybe you even say this inside your head, it's too radical of a change. There's not enough protein. I'll get too thin and my skin will wrinkle. My family won't eat this way. It's too difficult to eat this way on the road. There's nothing to eat in a restaurant. I've tried dieting before and I know I'll just gain all the weight back and I really don't like vegetables. <laughs> so all of these things are clearly things that go through our mind. I've eaten, I mean, 
<laughs> I'm talking, thinking about food now. Um, I've actually thought every single one of these little things here over the years trying to like figure out and rationalize these things, but it's true. None of these things hold weight when you finally actually start getting on it and you're like, wow, they're actually, you know, it's actually doable. I can do it. And Furman says here, these addictions that we have to the food we, we eat now affect our ability to think rationally. They prejudice our judgment in favor of maintaining the addiction. That's why it's so difficult even to decide to change, much less actually change. Those addicted to rich heart attack causing foods are more than happy to believe that a low cholesterol level is not desirable and they readily pair out high protein enthusiasts who spread the myth that low cholesterol is dangerous. And this is found on page 167 of Eat to Live, which I'll link below. I hear this kind of stuff all the time from, you know, all the other, uh, you know, diet supporters out there that um, they're always parroting that kind of information that, you know, here's why you shouldn't do it, here's why I can't do it, whatever it is. And the truth of the matter is, is that you'll figure it out when you start doing it, right? Like you'll get all of the information that you need to support yourself and to keep yourself going as you go. But you can't get there unless you start. <laughs> so uh, just something to keep in mind. Thanks so much for watching again, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!